Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you're doing okay. Going to read through the full article here. There's a link in the description. It is pretty short and it is tragic. Um, essentially, these two scumbags are alleged, alleged to have murdered a 23-year-old man called Denzel Hammond whilst he was parked in his car. Uh, this happened in Nashville. And they're 16 and 17. The girl is 16, I believe. The boy is 17. So what a fucking pair of pieces of shit scumbags. Taking the life of a 23-year-old that was, as far as I understand, minding his own business. It seems to be a bit of a carjacking incident. I could be misinterpreting that. But we're going to have a look through. Na uh, this happened in Nashville again. Homicide unit detectives are charging two scumbag teenagers ages 16 and 17 with criminal homicide. For the Thursday night shooting death of Denzel Hammond, 23 years of age, in the parking lot of Summerwind Apartments at 344 Bell Road. The man, Denzel Hammond, was shot whilst in the driver's seat of his car, which was still in gear when the first officers arrived. The officers broke out a window to get Denzel Hammond out of the car and to render aid. Fire department medics pronounced Denzel Hammond dead at the scene. Suhela Lemel, if I pronounce that correctly, Suela Lemel, 16 years of age, was present and identified Denzel Hammond as an acquaintance. So if I understand, she was in the vicinity when the officers arrived. Through further investigation, detectives discovered that this bitch, 16-year-old fucking scumbag murderer, Suela Lemel, and also Draven Huge, 17 years of age, this scumbag, were handling a pistol earlier in the night as they discussed robbing Denzel Hammond. A subsequent search of the 16-year-old girl's apartment led to the, to the recovery of two guns. Draven Hughes was taken into custody at the same, the same day at his home. Um, so if I understand correctly, the girl was still at the scene. I may be misunderstanding. It does seem odd to me, but that is what I'm understanding. Um, she was present and she identified Denzel Hammond as an acquaintance. Um, thankfully, the police were able to recover two guns and get enough information to be confident of arresting both the scumbag 16 year old girl and the scumbag 17 year old boy. Um, so that is all of the information that we have. Uh, so, of course, condolences. Uh, what a tragic loss of life of Denzel Hammond. We don't know anything about Denzel, but I don't think there's any reason to assume that he's anything other than a respected member of the community. Could be wrong. Maybe he isn't, but I think it's appropriate to assume so. So an innocent party seemingly just killed to be robbed. So it seems like it wasn't a carjacking, it was a robbery or attempted robbery by these two absolute scumbags taking away the life of a man in his prime. For what? What did you want to get? You wanted to get his iPhone? You wanted a little bit of cash, is that it? So you killed someone? You took someone's life? So I'm going to hope, well, I'll say condolences to Denzel's family. Uh, what a shocking loss. I feel sorry for you guys. I hope you get through it. And I hope you get to see justice. I hope these two scumbags um, get what they deserve. So my presumption when I read through these details, my general presumption most of the time, and it is in this case, my presumption is that the police know what they're doing. The police have recovered two guns. They've spoken with these guys. They've arrested these guys. Um, they're being charged with criminal homicide. That's because, in my estimation, the police know what they're doing. They have gathered a wealth of evidence already. They have the guns. They'll go through ballistic testing and all of this fingerprint testing. They'll get everything they need. The prosecution will have a very strong case, in my mind, my speculation. The prosecution are going to be able to present a very convincing factual based argument with overwhelming evidence that these two scumbags did indeed murder Denzel Hammond again 
that's my speculation and if i'm right probably will be right if i am right i'd like these guys to get the strongest possible sentence for taking a man's life away so i'm gonna quickly see if um nashville have the death penalty they do they do have the death penalty okay by the look of it so it looks to me um that they do currently have the death penalty which is great which is great now i do understand that there are complications with the death penalty uh, there are a lot of costs involved which personally i find is a real shame i find a real real shame uh to to have such a cost to the taxpayers that's it's no good just get just get rid of whatever bureaucracy whatever laws are in place that allow these scumbags to murder people and be given a death sentence which is the right thing to have received just to to charge the taxpayer you know for all of their appeals and their legal proceedings etc etc do away with it give them a trial if they're found guilty if there's overwhelming evidence of guilt give them the death penalty and shortly thereafter enact the death penalty no fuss no expense minimal expense dig a ditch out back chuck them in pour concrete over done i'm gonna wrap things up here if this is the type of content that you like please do give me a little bit of encouragement a like comment subscribe share the video as you see fit i'm trying to make multiple videos of these topics every day uh, so going through articles that have published been published today perhaps yesterday but certainly very very recently covering these topics trying to encourage you guys to chat in the comment section to talk about this i mean this is someone's life that's been taken away this is important um to the family of the deceased so hopefully I've been respectful. Um, I've presented this in a respectful way. Hopefully that is my intention. Um, so if you do like this, do like, comment, subscribe. Have a look at a couple of other videos on the channel. And I'll thank you for your time.